As the sun rose over London, many awoke to a dose of good news. The approval of the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine it, it, it brings forward the date at which we're going to bring this pandemic to an end. Four weeks after the approval of the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine, Oxford AstraZeneca was given the green light by UK regulators today. The MHRA's approval has been reached following a thorough and scientifically rigorous review of all the evidence of safety. Well, I think it's a game changer because um, it's a, a vaccine which can uh, be distributed easily. It's cheaper and easier to transport than the Pfizer-BioNTech and Moderna vaccines and doesn't need to be stored at ultra-cold temperatures. It's shown to be 70% effective versus Moderna and Pfizer, which boast closer to 95%. 70% is a smaller number than, than 95%, but when it comes to vaccines, it's still a fantastic number. Experts say 70% is higher than flu vaccines, and comparing efficacy numbers is tricky. These vaccines have been trialed independently, and so they, it, it is unfair. It is not possible, actually, to put them head to head. UK regulators are recommending a booster four to 12 weeks after the first dose, the government says it'll prioritize getting as many people as possible a single shot, and everyone will get a second shot within 12 weeks. Officials are in a race against the virus. Cases have doubled in the UK in the last two weeks, and pressure is mounting on hospitals. Just today, tighter restrictions were brought in. On the plus side, uh, we've got two valid vaccines, and we're racing, as I say, uh, to get them out. On the, on the downside, there is a new strain of the virus which is spreading much faster. So while 2021 will be rung in with more optimism, the difficult days aren't over yet. Farah Morali, CBC News, London. Canada has agreed to buy 20 million doses of the AstraZeneca vaccine pending approval. It is still under review. There are a number of packets of data that still need to arrive and as soon as we get the data we'll be uh, reviewing with the same process that we reviewed Moderna and Pfizer with a rolling regulatory review so that we can assess that data as quickly as it comes in. So just keep in mind, the AstraZeneca vaccine is one of seven Canada signed on to to purchase. So let's bring in infectious disease specialist, Dr. Suman Chakrabarty. So doctor, this gets a bit confusing. We know the AstraZeneca vaccine is different from the two that have been approved here already, the Pfizer, BioNTech, and Moderna. Can you walk us basically through those differences? Yeah, so uh, all three of these vaccines actually do the same thing. They give genetic instructions to your cells to make a protein that you make an immune response to. The big difference is that the um, AstraZeneca one uses an inactivated viral particle to get that instruction into your cells, which is different with the other two vaccines, Pfizer and Moderna, that use a nanoparticle. The other big difference is it's an advantage as well that the AstraZeneca one does not require any uh, uh, specialized cold storage, which really gives it an advantage to be able to uh, portable it around the country. Okay, so that would be helpful. As we heard, Health Canada is still waiting for more data. We know AstraZeneca had to redo some of its clinical trials. So what do you want to know about this vaccine before it's approved here? I think a couple of big questions still in my mind is, first of all, I want to get to the bottom of this uh, idea that the, you know, the initial uh, incorrect dose was given for the first uh, part, and then it somehow made a uh, vaccine efficacy that was much higher, and also the optimal uh, dosing intervals. They're talking about four weeks, but also 12 weeks, and it's important that we know what the optimal one is, and you know, this is going to be borne out in the data. We want to make sure there's no big methodological flaws here, and overall, you know, once we see that, if it's, if it's good, then I think this would be a good vaccine to have as a part of our toolbox. Okay, doctor, thank you very much once again. Spreading.